shells. Okay. So, a hermit crab shell is its house. You do not want to pick a crab because of its shell. Um, because they're just going to switch out of it. Um, you try not to pick panda shelled hermit crabs unless, you know, it's a really healthy choice. Um, because, trust me, it's just more pain than it is to help the crab. Um, it's just, it's just a mess. Um, and also you're, you're supporting the businesses that make painted shells by buying the ones, even though you feel bad for them. So, you don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to talk about what Ecuadorians like in their shells. So, Ecuadorians are very, very, very picky on their shells. Um, I remember a long time ago, when I just had 20, um... I would have issues with my Ecuadorians not changing shells, and none of them would change shells. Um, and they were, it was ridiculously tight, the shells. So, I put in, this is number one favorite for Ecuadorians, I'm just putting that out there. Number two, I'll show you in a second. Number one, right here. These shells are golden. I think they're called Rapawelk shells. They're from Chesapeake Bay. Um, these shells are golden. De-opening, lots of room inside, hard outer cover. Um, the snails that these live in grow like a weed in Chesapeake Bay. So people are just going out there and annihilating the snails because they can't stand them. So these shells wind up as the um, result. So, chances are, if you're ever going to find these shells, they're going to be extremely cheap because, like I said, the snails there grow like a weed. So, there's loads of these shells laying around. Um, so, all these shells, I've got, like, five packs of them already in here. A lot of them got buried. Smart crabs. Um, but five bucks, I've probably got fifty or sixty of these shells in here. Um, and my Ecuadorians love them. I think flips and climbers and little crazy eyes are the only three that don't have one of these shells on, which is ridiculous. Whoops. So, these shells are golden. Um, Rapa Welks. Number two favorite. These shells, uh, I'm not really sure what they are, I think they're some kind of Tana. This shell, and like the brownish, the, um, yeah, like the brownish version of this shell are like second favorite, if you could find these. Um, most of my crabs kind of grew out of these, so none of them are using them yet. I have two guys that can fit into these, but, um, it would be kind of big for them. Also, look for shells. If you're ever f if you're ever lucky lucky enough to come into a shell that's carved out, the crabs will usually pick that. You can see there's no spiral inside that shell compared to uh, this one, so you can't see completely down. This one, uh, this one, you can. I have about ten of these carved out shells, so it's fantastic. My purple pinchers actually use them, but nobody knows how they carve them out. I think they put some kind of acid that melts away the carbon in it, so they can just decarbonate them, and then boom. But, um, nobody really knows how they do it, so, yeah. Um, now, what shells don't you get? These shells. Um, I think they're called whale's eye shells. These shells are the worst shells you can possibly get. Um, you may think, hey, these shells, you know, de-opening, whatever. I think the purple pinchers will like them, too. For whatever reason, no crabs like these. I cannot, I've never seen a crab in one of these whale's eye shells. Shark eye shells are a little bit different. Sometimes Ecuadorians like them, sometimes purple pinchers like them. But whale's eyes are terrible. 
um, Rapa, no, these are not Rapa Walks, these are, these are, uh, I don't know what these are, but, um, they're hated by everything except for blueberry crabs, basically. Um, I'm hoping to get a blueberry crab sometime, but that's the only reason why I have these, and they're really cheap to get, too. Black Mirror shells. They're expensive, but purple pinchers love them. Um, this one's kind of spent, and the whole inside is, like, raggedy and stuff, because this thing's been through a lot, this one shell. Is this my... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm showing you the wrong show. This is, uh, this is an Apple Murex. Um, Purple Pinch is supposedly like these, but I haven't had any switching to them. Sorry, I was showing you guys the wrong show, I just realized. I was looking at it on the camera. Regular Murexes, generally, crabs like them. They, generally, the crabs come in them. But they don't, they don't really like them. They like the turbo shells. Here's the Black Murex. Okay. Normally they look amazing. This one's just raggy. It's old. And if you feel inside, it's all disgusting. This shell's been through a lot. But the crab, my crabs used to love this, these shells. Um, so it's cool. Uh, Babylonia Areolata shells. Um, young purple pinchers like these. I have a young purple pincher in one of them right now. But, yeah. They're very weak. I notice if you take a hammer and you smack this once, it'll probably break. They're kind of weak, but they look really cool. Usually come pretty cheap, too. Whoop. Regular Babylonia shells. I mean... I love these shells, but not too many crabs use them. I used to have a lot of crabs that used these, but now they don't really like them. Um, this is a tulipa, I think it's called, or a con. I think this is a conch. Um, nobody really likes these. This is mostly an Indo shell, and these are tulipa shells, and this one's like glossed, so that's why I don't use it, but I don't really know much about these, so can't really help you. Um, this is a moon snail shell. Um, they're very weak. It really depends. Some, I mean, I've heard of some people having crabs that love these shells. Other people have crabs that they, that hate these shells. I don't really put them in there, but when I do, I had one or two crabs using one of these, but that's it. Um, golden, uh, golden opening or golden inside. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um, these shells, eh, they're not really. Nobody really likes, likes them. Never had a crab use them. Um. And, yeah, we got turbos. And there's another shell that I'm trying to find in here. These ones, silver turbos, are supposed to be really good, but nobody really uses them either. Ah, this shell. These shells are my young purple pincher crab favorite. As stupid as they are. These crab, my really, my really tiny ones, love these shells. I don't know what they're called, but they love them. I have four of them, four little guys, and I think two of them are in these shells. Two of them are in other weird shells, um, but these are loved. And these, I don't know what they are, some kind of land snail shell. I had a crab once in one. It died in here, sadly, but, you know, I don't know. Kind of weak. Oh, something just fell out. Hmm. Bubbler. <laughs> um. Here. These shells. 
I don't know what these are. Nobody likes them. I had, but if your crab does like these, then you need to stock up on these because people who have crabs that live in that like these need these to live and they only get about this big. Um, as big as my fingernail. So yeah. Sorry about that. That was a really long video. Just on shells. Um, oh yeah, Ferris now shells are very popular. These. And so are tapestry turbos right behind that. Little spirally shells. And the right down there is a magpot shell. Crabs love those too. Alright, well, I gotta feed them, so I'll be back.